All right, when we want to study runoff in a certain area, so let's say we had a city here, okay? Maybe Los Angeles or New York or whatever city. This city is not just comprised of only one type of surface. And what I mean by that is, let's say you had, uh, so this is a city, okay? The city has many different surfaces. So over here, you might have um, a park and it has a lot of uh, vegetation. Um, here would be your, let me do that in a different color. Here you would have a lot of uh, residential areas. Um, over here, you may have a lot of industrial areas. Um, and here, I don't know, you might have a, well, a lake wouldn't be something we'd want to study, but maybe you have um, just a dirt patch here. In the middle, there's a big golf course. So the city has a lot of different um, surfaces. And if we wanted to study the runoff in the city, um, we'd have a problem because each part of the city um, absorbs water and rejects water differently. So this golf course here might not have a high runoff because it's all lawn. It might absorb a lot of the water, whereas the industrial area or the residential area has a lot of concrete, a lot of asphalt. Um, so there might be a lot more runoff in those areas. So we have something called the runoff curve numbers. And um, these are numbers that we use to determine the estimated runoff in a certain area. Okay, And these numbers were developed by a group, um, the SCS, the Soil Conservation Service. Okay, And these uh, runoff curve numbers are dependent on three different things. Uh, the first one is soil group. So what type of soil is present in that area? Uh, the hydrologic, hydrologic condition of the area. And then finally, the um, antecedent moisture content, the AMC, okay? And generally, these numbers uh, range anywhere from 30 to 100-ish. Uh, they could be a little bit more, a little bit less. Um, and how these numbers work, well, let's say you have, let's say you have a, a, a little line here and we have a low curve numbers here and we have high curve numbers here. Okay? Oh, and, and CN is kind of the notation we use to specify a curve number, CN, a runoff curve number, all right? So low, low curve numbers mean that there is low runoff. Okay, and high curve numbers mean that there is high runoff. Okay, and generally when you have low runoff, that means the soil in that area is, is rather permeable. Okay, and a high curve number means there's high runoff and generally the soil there is um, impermeable. Okay, what all this means is that if there's low curve number, there's a low runoff. That means the soil is, is abs or the the t the soil or whatever the ground cover there is is absorbing uh, the water pretty well. And a high curve no a curve number means there's a high runoff, and a high runoff means that the soil is impermeable or that the water the soil or the ground condition there is not absorbing the water too well. Okay and therefore there's more water leaving that area, hence high runoff, okay? And so that's that's the runoff curve number, a quick little introduction to it. Um, in the next couple of videos, I'll be talking about the three different um, things that uh, the curve, uh, curve number is dependent on, and then at the end of those videos, we'll do a, a quick little example to um, how to calculate curve numbers, um, where to find them, and all that sort of good stuff, all right? So see you then.